Hey, oh, here is a new video. This one is going to be about um, uh, animation, <laughs> 3D animation. Uh, if you've been following along the other ones, um, that's good. You should watch the the basics one, basics videos, and the 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 modeling videos before doing this one, because I'm not doing a lot of teaching on the on the the basic basics. Um, so if you if you don't know those basics, do that first. Uh, so here we go. Um, <clears throat> this block will dance in a few moments. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna edit mode, select this top face, extrude it up, extrude it up. I'm just building something that is going to dance. It doesn't. It doesn't have to be this. It could be anything. And I add this armature. <clears throat> add an armature. And in when you uh, are in our armature, see up in our collection up here, we've got armature. Uh, we have this little stick figure here. If I click on that and go to viewport display, when I click on the in front button, you can see, I can see the bone. If it's off, I can't see it. This makes working much easier. I'm going to grab it, move it down, and I'm going to scale it up to roughly a third. Edit mode, extrude it up, and extrude it up. You should know how to do all of these things <coughs> uh, from the other videos. My hope here is that when I extruded these up, that they line up with this one's perfect. Look at that. They line up with the where the bones, excuse me, where the where these vertices are. Okay. This is this becomes very important later on. All right. So back the bones. Um, let's let's parent them now. Let's parent them together. So what we're about to do here is we're gonna make this mesh, which is a very simple mesh, stick to these bones so that we can control the shape of the mesh using these bones. So we first select the mesh, we hold down shift, and we select the bones, the armature. You can see that they're selected and they're ready for parenting because there's this reddish orange on the mesh and this regular selection orange on bones. Control, holding down control, hitting P will bring up this menu what we want to do is we want to set the armature deform with automatic weights. Click. Oh boy, that was exciting. Nothing's happened. So we've got our bone selected. We go to pose mode. I click on there. Type R. And now I've got a dancing, dancing mesh. Wow, look at him go. <clears throat> okay, let's do a very simple animation. So uh, two different ways of animating. Uh, there's a fast way and a less fast way. I'm going to show you the less fast way first, which is another word for slow. The slow way. Uh, I'm going to start with a keyframe on this bone all by itself. If I rotate it, I always do that. Advance the playhead first. <clears throat> Advance the playhead first. I keyframe. Move it forward and rotate back. I keyframe. Now let's go back to the beginning. Whoop. Let's do this one. Rotate. Nope. Do the keyframe first. Rotate. <sighs> Come on. It's Monday morning, everybody. It's Monday morning. Rotate. I keyframe rotate back. I keyframe. Okay. Wow. That's the slow way. But you can see the dance is over one side. The fast way is you turn on this button right here, which is auto keyframing. Now we'll do the next half with that turned on, which makes things much, much, much faster. Well, you know what makes things even way more much faster? Way more much. So this uh, 30 keyframe, 30th 
frame here is um, is going so 20 let's go back to the beginning so 1 and 10 and then back to 20 so at 40 it's gonna be the same so I'm gonna put that keyframe in and then over here at 30 I'll do the rotate and the rotate and you see with auto keyframing turned on <laughs> Uh, I screwed up, you see. But anyway, we'll fix it. Anyway, ta-da! We got a sort of a dancing one. The point of this video, even though it's screwed up here, is that you can attach <coughs> the mesh to the bones, the armature. And it makes it a little dancing one, a little bit of animation. How do we make this better? Um, we're going to do it with weight painting mode. So let's go back to the very beginning and we go back to the object mode and we select the mesh. Now when you select the mesh, you can see here um, this data object properties and in vertex groups, we have bone one, two, and excuse me, bone one, bone zero, zero, one, and bone zero, zero, two. And that's just by default. If I go to weight paint mode, you can see here that the colors change a little bit. All right, those colors mean something. I'll talk about that in a sec. So the middle here. <clears throat> Notice in, in our animation we didn't have we didn't move the bottom bone at all, but you see here on the middle bone how this bottom part is like a, a sort of blue. Um, what I want is I want that to be completely dark blue like this. What that is, if I go completely dark blue, is the weight of this bone, at least the bottom of this bone, is set to zero. <clears throat> and now if I run the animation, you can see that the bottom doesn't move. If you scroll back a few seconds in the video, you'll see that the bottom was wiggling around a lot. So now the bottom doesn't move, which makes our dancing I don't know, a little more white guy. So uh, we'll talk about weight painting mode a little bit later, uh, but for now, we have a dancing tower. All right, that's it.